Hola, mijos. I have your next story here. It's called The Singing Mountain Children. I bet you they're children and they sing in a mountain. You think? Maybe? <clears throat> Close your eyes and imagine a castle. It's an old castle with a moat all around it. What would it be like to go inside that castle? Let's see if we can find out. Pick up your magic lantern and walk down the enchanted path. Where will it lead you tonight? Up to a huge heavy door decorated with magnificent golden shield. You push against it with all your might. Slowly, very slowly, it creaks open and you step into the most enormous room you've ever seen. It has thick stone walls and a big and big high windows. Each one is tall as a house. Hanging on the walls are giant flags, embroidered pictures, and shiny suits of armor with cross swords glinting in the sunlight. Look, look up! There are birds flying high above you. It is such a massive room that the birds look tiny to you, just like swallows high in the sky. Perhaps they are swallows. You're in the castle back in the past a long, long time ago. There are lots of people about in strange old-fashioned clothes, like the clothes knights and princesses wear in picture books. You admire their beautiful robes and sparkling jewels. The most important people here are the king and queen. They sit on golden thrones perched high on top of a platform. You watch as their servants bring them plates of fine food and glasses of wine. At the end of the room, you notice a stage. A great crowd of people, some standing, some st seated, all are looking in the direction of the stage as if waiting for a show to start. Now you hear the sound of trumpets, a wonderful fanfare of trumpets. You realize what it is you realize what it is you're all there to see. It's a royal performance, especially for the king and queen. One of the queen's page boys comes up to you. Oh no, you think. Why couldn't he just leave me alone? But, smiling, he takes you by the hand and leads you to another throne, right next to the king and queen. As he sits down behind you, the page boy chatters to you about the performance that everyone's waiting so eagerly to see. So by the time the show begins, you know exactly who the performers are going to be. They're the children from a farming village miles from the palace, high up in the mountains. Once a year, they come down to the valley and put on a show for the king and queen. The mountain children make their own costumes decorated with eagle's feathers they find among the craggy cliffs. They sing songs about farm work, milking goats and herding sheep, and what it's like to live in the mountains, high up in the clouds where eagles fly. As the children run onto the stage, everybody in the room claps their hands together loud and fast. You join in too, clapping as hard as you can. How fantastic it is to be in a castle sitting on your own purple velvet throne right next to the king and queen. Everybody's just as, as, as excited as you. They seem to like these children from the mountains even though their costumes are so ragged and their movements on stage are a little stiff. Some of them are nervous but that's hardly surprising because as everyone knows even really famous singers can get a little bit scared before a performance. After the applause has died down, the singing starts. First, the children all sing together, very nicely, you think. Then two sing together, then three, then four, and finally one little girl all by herself. You think she's very brave to sing al alone to so many important people. While she sings, someone plays a big brass horn with a deep bellowing sound, just like an elephant. The little boy squeezes an accordion that's much too big for him. It's not the, it's not the best music you've ever heard, not like the trumpets, but nobody minds because everybody's enjoying themselves so much. 
and everybody knows that the singers are trying their very best. Now the queen leaves, leans over to where you're sitting. She invites you to go on stage and sing a song of your own. You feel very nervous, but everybody is smiling and encouraging you to perform. So you step up to the stage and start to sing the song you like best. At first you sing quietly, and then you get bolder. Soon you're singing at the top of your voice. Now you feel confident and brave. The king and queen laugh and cheer at the end of your song. Can you imagine it? The king and queen laughing and cheering. And this particular king and queen enjoy all the singing so much that the tunes are still playing in their heads when they drift off to sleep that night. Dreaming of goats, meadows, sheep, and clouds, and eagles that shed their feathers on a beautiful hillside far from home. And they dream of the sweet song you sang to them. How's that? I like that. Remember, almost everybody gets a little nervous before they sing, speak, or perform in front of other people. <clears throat> if you try something once, you'll find it easier the second time around. The more you do something, the better you get at it. A lot of kids are shy when they enter a room full of strangers, but if you join in with them, they'll soon start having a good time. And finally, so long as you try your best, People will be proud of you, and you'll be proud of yourself. How's that? That was a good story. I like that one. I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Okay? Bye.